Make haste, then. We must leave enough. Good. Then let us be on our way. We are under attack. Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermont. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all the claims. Our kingdom is very pretenders, and they are not dealt with like you. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. Never would have occurred to me. Unbelievable. An obstacle blocks our way. Perhaps we might remove it by force. I can attack at a moment's notice, Master. Shall I assist? I've a thought to share myself. Something to note. None of our number are trained in the healing arts. It is worth considering. A mage with knowledge of the curative arts could be our barrier to its life and death. Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An Arisen, by all appearances. An Arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's Ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one Arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come. Let us pass through the gate. An ox... I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. It will find a use for it, I'm sure.
We'll never get anywhere if all we do is rest. We shall be ill prepared for battle if we rest over much. Everyone all right. More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. Should you need to communicate in Elvish, pray call upon... Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. There's ought to be found there. Can you not see it? We ought to take a closer look. Mayhap you will think this a trifle, but one water is spilling through the cracks here. What could be the cause? You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find.
I seem to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Uh, shall I lead the way? I've got wares of it. Every ilk. Hope to see you again ere long. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. No doubt, this triumph will spur us into the next. Efficiency at its best. Our combined might is beyond any foe. I seem to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Uh, shall I lead the way? <laughs> Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Off we go then. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. You must cleanse yourself of that oil. Ho taste! Battles atop bridges are best avoided. There is no worse place to be ambushed than the middle of a bridge. Garn all you want. It won't make a difference when I grapple you, see? Much appreciated. Take it before it burns a hole in my pocket. Arisen? I should have expected you may yet live.
well-placed strike or to send its gaze in skyward. Perfect attack or endless Let us ponder how best to proceed. What's more? We've not counted a thief among our number for some time. We've no need of a thief if we are content to overwhelm our foes with sheer force. If we are to break it, it shan't be from this side. Really now? Alt! You are approaching the gates of Vernworth, capital of Vermont. None may pass without the proper documents. If you've an entry permit, an invitation, or proof of citizenship, present it now. Nothing to show? Go on then, away with you! There can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals. If you refer to changes in the military's makeup, I've heard the same. Indeed. Tell us, there's been a shift in the chain of command.
There's a cave in the vicinity that you've yet to explore. I can take us there, using knowledge I gained beyond the rift. Go on, run! I enjoy this place. You'll not live to regret this. I find myself wondering why we must fight against our fellows. It is as you say. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Is a strange sort that ventures willingly into darkness. This might be worth a read. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. I do not espy any suitable footholds. One of my abilities could bridge this gap. Might I be of assistance? Mastered that attack, we would be invincible. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. is best avoided. Yeah. Now that I think on it, none in our party are healers. Have you considered becoming a mage yourself, Master? <laughs> oh. 
Oi, who goes there? Rather brazen for a burglar, aren't we? I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Geyser of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion, and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? Twould seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh. Apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. 